But I was certainly honored to be the only member of the media invited to the Robinson private viewing party. It was certainly a roller coaster couple of days, but this story has a happy ending. Oh, get out the way! It's Friday night in Gall Lake, and Trenton Robinson is ready. Not really nervous. I'm. I'm Excited. Robinson has been dreaming about being drafted since the first time he put his cleats on for the Bay City Central Wolves. He's been working for it throughout his college career as safety for the Spartans and anticipated hearing his name being called out by an NFL team since the Senior Bowl, the NFL Combine, and MSU's Pro Day. It's like a surreal feeling. It's like you know, wow, you know, you're finally here. All the work and everything, it, you're here and you're about to be going across there like Trent Robinson for the whatever, whatever team. Robinson chose the family home of his girlfriend for his viewing party because it was out of the way and he could control the small group of people he wanted around him for his big moment. Makes it, you know, it's not overwhelming. Usually I'm overwhelmed with a lot of people around me and stuff. Friday is round two and three in this 2012 draft. It would be a long shot for Robinson to go tonight, but anything's possible, and the 5'10", 190-pound safety got great feedback. You know, I'm here in late third, fourth, uh, as late as the fifth. Robinson's friend Jarrell Worthy gets picked by the Packers in the second round, and excitement grows. But more than 60 players go off the board this night, and no mention of Robinson. It's Saturday afternoon in Gall Lake, rounds four through seven. I guess when you're sitting back watching it, you just got to like, come on, waiting for your name to go. You know, it was good to see my boys go. Kirk Cousins, MSU's QB, gets picked in the fourth round by the Redskins. The fifth round comes and goes, still no mention of Robinson, who made 229 tackles in his four-year career at MSU, nine interceptions, 12 pass breakups. Other safeties with weaker stats have already gone. The mood is tense in round six, and Robinson goes to a back room to get away. <laughs> then, word comes out that the 49ers have come to call. Right now, I just I don't really know how to feel my dream this year, and all I got to do to you know, uh, get where I want to be is work hard, and I know I'll have a spot here. Jim Harbaugh himself called Robinson to tell him San Francisco would pick him in the sixth round, 180th overall. Uh, Coach Harbaugh called and um, said, we want you, you know, we're going to be taking you this pick and I said, all right, I'm ready, let's go. I've been waiting all day, so let's go. There were tears and hugs and excitement for the future. He's worked hard, he's humble, he's passionate about what he does and he, aside from everything else, he loves the game. Robinson says he knows there are no guarantees. When I get out there, I still got to make the team. You know, I'm on the team, but I still got to make the team. As his mom said, good things come to those who wait. And as everyone else said, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Go 49ers! Yes. Robinson tells me he'll take a couple days to really enjoy this, and then the hard work will really begin.